It's the CJFL under the helmet, catching up with third-year receiver of the Calgary Colts. This is Zion Dovey Brown. How you doing, man? I'm good. Yourself? Doing good. Okay, think back. Why football in the first place? Why get into this sport? Uh, well, honestly, I got lucky enough. Uh, my older brother, he's played football before me, and he's been playing for I think probably close to ten, eleven years. Okay. And so watching him play and just like my competitiveness with my brothers. He's wanting me to – I wanted to do the same thing he's doing, but better. So that's how I kind of got started into it. And who's better? Oh, me. Me. <laughs> what sport does he play or what position does he play? He's actually a D-tackle at the University of Calgary right now. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. You watch him play then? Oh, yeah, sometimes. But yeah. I didn't – I always talk to him and see him, tell him if I see him in practice. It would, wouldn't look good for him. I'd torch his knee <laughs> I love it. Uh, did you play any other sports growing up? Yeah, I played basketball for a very long time. Okay. Any good? I mean, I'd say we're pretty good. I think I was pretty good. I Not not just me, but also with the team that I had around me. We had a lot of great players that I played. I got to play with, and they just made me better. So Yeah. What position did you play in basketball? I was point guard. Okay. So you call the shots. I love it. It's always been offense for you then, hey? No, none yep. on the defensive side? Yeah, I mean, deep, but like defense has always been that's been a key thing for me when I was playing basketball because you got to make a statement of defense first. Yeah, so when was it that you decided to pursue football rather than basketball or anything else? Uh, actually, COVID, COVID, uh, when COVID hit, uh, my mom she has a uh, autoimmune sickness, so if she were to get close to COVID, like that wouldn't be good for my family, and so yeah. to protect her, I just kind of limited what I was doing, but also like football was my first love and um, I always loved playing football and um I got my first offer after after my grade 10 season by U University of Saskatchewan yeah. so after I got that I was like well this is definitely something I can see myself doing in the future yeah do you remember your greatest athletic achievement yeah it actually happened this year I got okay. I got the opportunity to play for, with uh team Canada which was great and we actually ended up winning the gold championship against Japan and honestly, that was the best time in football for me. I got to see amazing players, got to play with them, got to learn from them. It was sweet. Was that the tournament in Edmonton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that experience, man, when you got that invitation, was that just, were you overjoyed with emotion? Yeah. I it, Honestly, for like the first like month after I got it, like it was kind of surreal. Like it yeah. just, it felt like, it was everything that like I wanted to have, but in the back of my mind, like I knew there's still so much more. So like getting it was great. But then like after getting it, it's like, okay, my season's about to start up and I want a championship too. So yeah. it was cool to have it. It was cool to go through it, but then there's always more after you can never be satisfied. Yeah. You're that, all that fuel of the fire, right? You get a little bit of taste of some success and now, okay, I want that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Best football movie, in your opinion? And there's a few good ones out there. What's the best one? Personally, I would think Gridiron Gang. Okay. I like that one a lot. That's my favorite. Yeah. Could you star in a football movie, do you think? Actually, yo, you, I might be in one soon. You don't know. You might see me on Netflix, potentially. Oh. <laughs> you can't, can't say too much, but who knows? You can't say. You got to tell us, is there something in the works with you and Netflix? Yeah, I got I got an opportunity with somebody, and they helped me out. They get to get to that spot, so you might you will you will see me on Netflix twenty twenty five. Okay, really? Yeah. Is there anything else you can tell us about this? That's it. That's the only thing. All right, fine. I'll drop it. <laughs> Are you a superstitious guy? Before a game, do you need to do something to get your body and your mind ready? Uh, I wouldn't say superstitious, but, um, I am a man of Christ. And for me, before every game, before I get on the field, I get to, I like to go into the end zone and I just sit there and I pray probably for about five minutes, not too long, but have that quick conversation with God and then it's back to war. Okay. The most ludicrous thing you've ever purchased is what? Hmm. I... Would say I bought a pair of Jordan fours. Uh, they were the Wetas. I bought them for like, I think I got them for four eighty online, mm -hmm. and I only ended up having them for like six months. Nothing long. Oh, what happened to them? 
I liked them, but like I bought them and they were just sitting in my room because I didn't want to wear them. Honestly, I didn't want to get them. I didn't want to ruin them. So I was like, yeah. honestly, I can start my shoe collection later. And like, it's like right now, I don't need it. It's not a priority or anything like that. <laughs> okay. Your biggest fear is what? Man, I hate heights. I hate heights. I'm not. I'm not a fan. Like, I actually, it's not even heights. I don't. I don't like. I don't trust roller coasters. I don't trust anything at an amusement park just because. Anything could happen, and everybody is like, it's not going to happen to you. But, I mean, you it could be the you be the first one it happens to. You can start it <laughs> off. So, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that. It's the falling part of the height that maybe is is the worst, right? Yep. So, you've never climbed the Calgary Tower? I've never been in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, as a Colt, you're traveling to a couple of different provinces when you play in the Prairie Conference. What's your go-to road trip snack? Uh, sweet chili heat Doritos. Mm. Those are the best ones. Those are great. Yeah. Do you have teammates always trying to bum some off you? Oh, definitely. I sit with one of my linemen, and they're smart because he might be taking snacks from me, but realistically, he brings the most snacks to the table. So if I eat it faster than he eats it, then, you know, it's fair game. <laughs> All right. Best concert you've ever been to? Uh, I just recently this year I went to um, what's his name? Ty Dolla Sign at uh, the Cowboys Music Festival. I went with my girlfriend and we had a great time. It was really cool. Yeah. Right. yeah. Who's, winning, who's winning the Super Bowl this year? Uh, in my heart, I want to say Baltimore, but I think I think Kansas City might run it back again. Yeah, they beat them in Week One. Yeah, and. You can't deny Mahomes. He's the greatest quarterback other than Tom Brady. He will get there. He's not there yet, but he's going to be there. And he didn't lose any weapons. He only gained more weapons. Yeah. So. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it unfolds. Okay, last question for you is what's one thing people don't really know about you? Uh, I am the fifth child out of ten. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of mouths to feed. Yeah. The oldest is 28, and the youngest just turned four last month. Do you remember all your siblings' names? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. If you ask me about birthdays, I, I'd say I'd probably get eight out of ten. Okay. That's but respectable. Think, That's pretty good. I try. I try. <laughs> all right, Zion. Thanks for doing this. You sure you don't want to tell us anything else about Netflix? Oh, no. I can't. I can't. I can't. Thanks for doing this. We'll see you on the field. Yeah, I appreciate you giving me this opportunity.